the wings. Work into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around the fingers like this. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch, then work five single crochets. Yarn on the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Remove the loop from your finger. Pinch the tail and the loop with your thumb and middle finger. Next, work five single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop through the ring. Yarn on the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. That's one single crochet. Such a wave shape on the side stands for one stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch. Continue to work for more single crochets. Five single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. The function of slip stitch is to connect each round, so it's not counted into the number of stitches. In round 2, start with one chain stitch. The function of chain stitch is to raise the height, so it's not counted into the number of stitches. Next, work 5 increases. First, work one single crochet in the market stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. So we need to work one more single crochet in the same stitch. One increase is done. Keep working for more increases. We work two single crochets in each stitch. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Round two is done. In round three, start with one chain stitch. And then work set of one single crochet, one increase for five times. First, work one single crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Next, work one increase. 
which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. One set is done. Work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Keep working for more sets. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 3 is done. In round 4, start with one chain stitch. Then, work 15 single crochets. Remove the marker. One slip stitch. Stretch the loop. And break yarn. Pull the yarn tail out. Cut off excess yarn tail. Thread the yarn tail through the needle. Fold the fabric in half and use the yarn needle to sew its bottom up like this. Sew up its bottom. One wing is done. Make one more in the same way. 